here. I'm Alex. I hope you're doing well. Um, real quick, I just wanted to send some love out to anyone who has been like struck by Hurricane Ian. I know that hurricanes are always scary. So I just wanted to send some love to anybody who knows someone or if you are in the midst of that or the aftermath. Wanted to send you some love and I hope you guys are safe. But today y'all i actually am gonna do another like double life vlog you guys really like the last one and i'm so happy so if you're new here when i say double life i pretty much mean working my nine to five and also running my youtube channel both of those worlds can be really demanding but at the same time i love being on youtube so i figured why not bring y'all along okay plus also my goal right now is to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of this year i'm super close i believe i'm at like at this current time of filming i believe i'm at like 42 485 or something and i'm constantly growing so so I am really happy that I'm about to hit a really big milestone. So excited to bring you guys along. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the vlog child. So typically what I've decided to do, which let me say this you guys, I don't feel like there's a perfect schedule. If you're like balancing, you know, making content and working your nine to five, I just feel like find your flow, right? So what I found is that because I like to film on Mondays and because I'm vlogging, I typically like to get my nine to five work set up. So like I open up teams my email my notes all of that stuff and the software that i use to actually work and then i'll go ahead and set up my filming equipment because that doesn't take me long and i like to do everything like before eight o'clock i got up early today so i was like on it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get everything open check my meetings i forgot my coffee hold please so I do have a meeting at 1.30, so that's later. That's good to know. If y'all ever watched the show Friends and, you know, Monica, she was always like that very like neat freak, very organized, but she had like this secret closet that was like hella junky, that was like a catch-all. That's kind of like how this room is I'm about to show y'all. So come on. Ah, uh, okay y'all, so this room here, I'm thankful that I have the space. Honestly, this room used to be my t-shirt making room hints okay the t-shirts the heat press all that stuff and now I consider it kind of like a catch-all but I just kind of like not made it as junky so I used to have that table like um, actually laid out but I just folded it or collapsed it or whatever and put everything off to the side just made a few little improvements if you guys are wondering what I plan on doing with all these t-shirts honey I don't even know I don't even know I'm thinking about giving them away I'm thinking about taking them back to the warehouse I bought them from I, I don't know I genuinely just haven't thought that through yet still working on it but this is pretty much the area where I put everything <laughs> including my filming equipment which is what I'm here for so I keep all my filming equipment in here you guys don't need all of this to start but over time you will collect different types of lights tripods all that good stuff so you know this is your first time making content honestly what you really need is a tripod a ring light your phone or if you have the budget for a camera okay so I don't think you got to get everything and uh -uh, it ain't that deep. Okay, so here's my setup. You guys may have noticed I have like tape on the floor. So what I've been doing is I'm really focused on having consistent quality like sit down videos. And actually yesterday I took the time to like play with my camera that y'all see right there. Just play with the settings so that way my videos can look really crisp and you know like butter. But I went ahead and put like some tape where everything should go so that each time I film, especially a sit down video, I know where I'm at. I kind of have a formation. This is what works good for me you know however you need to do it that's your thing but this is what works well for me and I find it really helpful plus I spent time like zhuzhing up my apartment and I also like that in the background you see the little decor corner that I made here as well so this is pretty much what it looks like for me everybody's setup looks different so don't think you have to have like the fanciest setup do whatever you know works for you okay so this is what it looks like I like to get this set up so that way on my lunch break I'm gonna finish and be good. One thing about me, I'ma heat up the same cup of coffee like 50 times. I cannot stand lukewarm coffee, so. I don't know if y'all can see the steam, but yeah. Okay, hot, hot. So yeah, I'm kinda just dressed for the fall, y'all. I went ahead and did a little something something because this video is a sit down video. 
put that coffee down. But because this video is a sit down video, I went ahead and just got ready. Typically, what I used to do and what I realized really quickly did not work for me was that I would like change and then film on my lunch break. And I was like, mm, you gotta be a little bit more efficient than that, especially being that I am y'all type A personality when it comes to getting things done. I'm an Aries. Shout out to my Aries out there, but I'm an Aries, so I'm like headstrong. I like to get things done when I like to get them done. So I say all that to say, I started just like getting dressed in the mornings just like normal right like you just get ready for the day and then that way I'm filming on my lunch break I get an hour lunch and I've already scripted my video I know what I'm gonna be talking about you know what I'm saying so that has been working for me so if you're trying to figure out your flow your rhythm the best thing I know you can do honestly get organized however you do that my friend it's all on you but because I'm working my nine to five and I'm making content I have to make sure I stay organized and I'm a one woman team honey so I gotta make sure you know I stay on top of it so that is what I've been doing that's what's been working for me um if you're ever wondering how to get it done best thing I can share with you is get yourself on the schedule have some type of routine see if it works if it does stick to it friend and I promise you you're gonna be like "Ooh, I'm happy I got it done and you know it's just gonna be easier of course the more that you do it so I also decided to like add some more umph when it comes to like my corner office I got this like wall calendar from Amazon it was like 30 bucks I like it. you literally just like roll it out and just put the thumbtacks on and just stays in place and then I added a floating shelf from my den and just added like some decor so that way it won't look so flat so I really like how it turned out and then facing this way in front of me it's like my actual like nine to five computers and I did that because I actually switched it around I don't know if y'all remember the, the way I had it set up last time but I switched it around because I feel like when I film my windows right here and I rather y'all see like my personal stuff than my actual like work computer so this is what she's looking like in the corner office. I really love it. Sun is sunning. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful fall day, okay? So I actually do have to get work done today. So I'm just gonna bring y'all along. Like I said, okay, I gotta watch a training video. Hmm. So let's get to work. I'm gonna see y'all when I'm on lunch about to film. Okay, bye. <laughs> So I'm taking a mini break. It's 9.45. I feel like time has been moving mildly slow. I don't know. Sometimes on Mondays, I feel like it goes fast. And then sometimes on Mondays, I feel like it just takes its time. But two things. Number one, it's Q4. Number two, I need to write out my Q4 goals. And I need to do that because how I'm sitting, I'm facing my whiteboard, which I'm gonna show y'all here in a second, but I'm facing my whiteboard and I'm just like, I need to just see my goals every day. Let me go ahead and write them real quick so I can get back to work. I think I have a meeting at, girl, I be forgetting my meetings. <laughs> real quick, I forget them real quick. Okay, so I'm good. I don't have a meeting until 11.30. So that's a plenty of time to knock out this morning part of the work. And then after my meeting, I literally have a window of 12 o'clock to 1.30 to film this video. So at that time, baby, the pressure will be getting wessa. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I'm really on a track of getting 50,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm so excited, man. It's just such a warm feeling. Um, and then the second goal y'all saw me write down was making money from Amazon KDP. A couple videos ago, I posted pretty much how you can earn more money like on the side 
side making low content books so low content books like journals planners notebooks um, and things like that I had tapped into the side hustle y'all and let's just say I'm having a good time so I wanted to show you guys the book so far that I have created there's so many opportunities of honestly of books you can create but I stuck with something that as a beginner I'm just kind of getting my feet wet so the first book is the zodiac composition book I designed the cover all that stuff I did everything that you guys are looking at right here even the back and then Amazon prints it for you so clutch and then here's the inside too it's just wide rule and I thought this was actually pretty dope and so I did all 12 of the zodiac signs so that way I have a lot of books to you know to sell and also increase my profit margins the key with Amazon KDP is that honestly you just want to throw the books up there you know just because the more books you have the more you sell the more you make so that's how that goes and then this one hold on this one kind of got some stuff on it this one is also something I created just a manifestation journal but this one is a little bit different because it also has like activity pages let me show y'all so like has some activity pages that customers can also do you know so I thought that that was also good as well I am very new with this but I just realized that it was something else that I can do you know outside of YouTube I love making my YouTube content especially honey outside this nine to five I just needed something else so just wanted to bring y'all in a little sneak peek okay of what my books are looking like that I sell on Amazon KDP I'm actually working on a journal as we speak I made the cover I just have to make the interior and then I'm gonna just honestly just put a lot of books out there as soon as the ideas come to me I'm creating them plus doing my research all that good stuff so that's something I'm enjoying doing because it's new for me I've like created stuff before you know but tapping into the Amazon bag is a big deal so I'm gonna definitely keep this up and I'll bring you guys along of like my results my income report how it's going for me do I think it's worth it if you guys have any questions I'll make sure to spill all the tea okay but let me get back to work now all right all right all right it is that time got everything on and ready okay getting ready to film it is 1207 so i'm doing pretty good with time i feel like this should not take me no longer than like 30 minutes because i have my script i always script my videos that's honestly just like a pro tip unless you are really good with coming up with words on the fly shout out to you i'm not that person i do need a script so that way i'm kind of like staying on track and i'm not rambling so I do that so I can make sure my videos come off the way that I need them to but let's go ahead and start filming shall we Okay, so guess who battery died? And you know what I learned? I learned that I need more than one battery pack because as I'm charging one, this vlog camera battery died and I was like, oh. <laughs> So, ah, y'all weren't able to see the rest of like me filming, honestly, the entire video, but it's all good. Hopefully, if you are liking my vibe, you'll just go ahead and watch the next video after this vlog is gonna be uploaded. But yeah, girl, I had a rookie move. I need to buy another battery pack. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get one this weekend because I can't have this happen twice. But it's 12.45, my phone over there somewhere. I'm gonna just sit down, take a breather, okay? I was feeling myself getting a little bit like overwhelmed, trying to get it all done on my lunch break following my script make sure I'm intentional all that good stuff so the best thing honestly oh that is not good lighting let me turn this way okay but honestly the goal is to have a video minimum okay of eight minutes when you hit eight minutes that's when you can actually place ads on your video so as long as this video I filmed today is eight minutes I'm cool okay I'm trying to find a sweet spot sometimes videos are just longer because of what they provide other times you know I like to get straight to the point like this vlog I don't know how 
long this vlog gonna be? I ain't even gonna hold you. But I say all that to say, if you're starting to film content on YouTube, and let's just say, if you don't know how it goes, you know, before you get monetized, you wanna make sure that your videos are eight minutes or longer. Because once you get monetized, you can place actual ads on your videos, i.e. you guys gonna see some ads in this vlog. You know, you've seen ads, you've seen ads before. Ads are just like commercials, basically. So if you are new to making YouTube content and you wanna make sure you have like timing and you know how long videos need to be, they ain't gotta be stupid long, but for you to have like control of placing ads on the video, then you have to make sure they are at least eight minutes. That's the minimum, okay? So say all that to say, I pray that that video is at least eight minutes. If not, I'ma have to figure it out. But anyway, where my water at? I forgot to tell y'all that this morning that I have been in this space of just like doing a lot of self-reflection. My goal for the end of this year, and honestly, I don't want this to be like a like an end time type of task, but like I'm so focused on like self-reflecting. I'm unlearning some things, I'm in therapy. So for me, it's important that I do spend time reflecting on where I see myself, what can I do better? You know, it's never a bad thing to self-improve, right? So I forgot to tell y'all this morning when I was writing in my notebook, that's what I was doing. I write down three things every morning on how I envision my day just to bring, you know, more light to me and the things that I know that I want to accomplish. So forgot to mention that my bad y'all, but I'm about to drink this water, sit her on this couch, honestly, just sit her. I got to get back to work in a few minutes. I got to go check my mail. You know how like if you get like informed delivery and stuff from USPS, it tells you what's coming. And I think I got my pretty little thing package. We gonna see, we gonna see. But in a nutshell, you guys, that is it. That is how I get it done. Typically, again, I like to film on Mondays. Mondays are better days for me. Just because I know how my work week goes. Once you start making content, then you of course adjust your schedule accordingly. But yeah, y'all, I got about 11 minutes before I gotta go back on this clock and I have meetings up until three. So I ain't even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> I'm about to pretty much put these videos together because I need to organize them too. And then I'm gonna catch y'all when I'm off work. Girl, I caught myself going to get my mail because I'm off work. And the mail guy is still like putting it into different like apartment slots. And I didn't want to be that person that was like, uh, can I have my mail please? And like interrupt his little rhythm. So I'm gonna go back. But anyway, you guys, I'm off work now. Woohoo! I literally just got back inside because I wanted to run and grab my mail before everybody got there and anyway this is pretty much the end of the vlog okay so i really just wanted to let y'all know that it's the end of the work day and i'm wrapping things up but yeah so that is it i actually am now about to take a little moment i like to take like an hour hour and a half to like chill watch some tv or decompress or whatever before i get to like putting my clips together all that good stuff but other than that good people that is it for today's vlog this was super realistic to me because this is what i do like i said on monday I film, I work, rinse and repeat, okay? There's really no magic formula. I just find what works for me. So if you work from home and you wanna start making YouTube videos, I hope that this was helpful for you. Thank y'all for sticking with me with this vlog. Leave me a like if you like this type of content because I would love to make more. But as always, okay, y'all should know what I'm about to say. Subscribe if you are liking the vibe, okay? Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. And I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye, y'all.